Rice has become a huge political liability for the Obama administration. It all goes back to the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya on September 11th. A few days after the attack where the ambassador Chris Stevens and three other Americans were killed, Rice was dispatched to the Sunday public affairs shows here in the in, here in the United States to uh, give the uh, administration's version of what had happened. What she did not say, at least to the satisfaction of uh, some Republicans on Capitol Hill was that the attack was an apparent act of terrorism. She instead tried to say that there was a link between uh, the attack on the consulate and that uh, her now infamous uh, web video which uh, defamed the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Rice has insisted that she was simply repeating the uh, guidance that had been given to her by the U.S. intelligence community, but that explanation did not sit well with uh, those uh, Republicans, including Senator John McCain, the man whom she criticized quite strongly on foreign policy grounds during the 2008 campaign. She is very close to the president, and both in that letter you mentioned, Laura, uh, Lauren, and uh, in a phone call with the president, Rice said that she did not think that her candidacy, if it were to be announced, was worth fighting for in this political climate. Uh, you mentioned the relationship with Obama there. How, how is this going to affect him and his relationship with uh, Capitol Hill? There are already some uh, political analysts who are suggesting that uh, after uh, showing some backbone, as it were, during his re-election bid recently, that the president has once again kowtowed to critics who are on uh, shaky ground at best and that uh, it does not bode well for his uh, future relations with uh, members of Congress. However, there are others who are arguing that, uh, the, that Rice has basically made it easy for the president to choose someone else for uh, to, to be secretary. Secretary of State because he's going to be able, he's going to need to use his political capital, as it were, one to uh, perhaps uh, replace one or more people sitting at uh, the U.S. Supreme Court, which is always a difficult process, and perhaps more immediately to uh, try to get as much as he wants out of the current uh, budget talks with congressional Republicans. There's a huge fight here, as our viewers know, over whether taxes should go up on the very wealthiest of Americans, whether there should be uh, reforms to the programs, Social Security and Medicare programs, which primarily serve uh, retired Americans, and whether there should be uh, cuts in uh, tax deductions that many people in the middle and working class count on to help them make ends meet. And so it's really, you know, perhaps a, you know, a short-term victory for the opponents of uh, Susan Rice. But the question is, is this going to be a trend or is this simply something that the president is doing for long-term political gain?